I had such a rush of emotion, and I was like, really, this is really happening, like it's a storybook, you know, you dream about it, you know, from the days of falling in love with musical theater and being in, you know, junior high school and high school, you, you dream of that day being a, like, you know, someone's going to give you a principal role on Broadway, and all of a sudden, it, it happens. You're going to be so proud <laughs> if only she'd show up for rehearsals once in a while. He just loves things in order. You know, and uh, when it's not that way, that's when he gets frustrated. But then there's another side to Sebastian that people don't know, which I think is like when it comes about in like Under the Sea, where he's really this person who like has a big heart and but loves to move, and he's kind of he's not so uptight as he is in front of everyone trying to keep it all together. Really inside, he's a heartfelt, loving crab. <laughs> Compared to the animated version, like Sebastian is like this baritone, and uh, in the show, he's a tenor. <laughs> first tenor at that so, so um, you know that was that was quite nerve-wracking still at times you know sometimes I'm like oh it's a coin flip I hope it comes out right but so far so good as I bring forth Sebastian I, I make sure that I, I plug into the warmth which is not hard to do but some of some of the silliness I try to add a little more of the silliness and um, a little more of the uptightness in him when he, when he says something. I try to go as far as I can with it so that when he falls, <laughs> which he generally tends to do throughout the show, it's a big fall. Teenagers, you give them an inch and they swim all over you. I started dancing at the age of eight. I will not date myself. I'll just tell you the time frame. But just like last year, I ended up losing a whole bunch of weight and decided that I wanted to, to pursue a career in theater again, because I'd been out of theater for so long. And so I opened up a backstage, um, saw a open call, and I went to it, and I was like, you know, everyone's like, oh, you never, you can't get into an open call. They just put that in there because the equity makes them do it. And they they set this whole thing <laughs> up because, they, I mean, they, they accepted me, and I, I was very grateful for it. And now here I am. And so and I'm so thankful, and I feel very blessed to be here. What I would tell kids who want to end up on Broadway is to don't stop, don't stop dreaming, don't stop learning, because that's when you learn everything you possibly can absorb. You know, I mean, if you feel like you want to dance, dance. If you want to act, act. If you want to sing, sing. You know what I mean? If you want to direct, go and take a class in directing. Do it all. Don't let anybody or anything stop you from pursuing your dreams.